rap news street politics and we back again to bring y'all that street business now today we doing the top 10 most active hoods on the west side of los angeles now when i say the west side i'm talking mid city all the way to the far west now i know a lot of y'all may not know how la is broken down but it has multiple different sections i know most people know crenshaw slawson south central compton watts the basic shit you know what i'm saying but it's way deeper than that the politics go way deeper than just them three little sections that most of y'all know about so this right here mid city all these hoods we finna touch they border stop on crenshaw and they all run down the 10 freeway but enough of that talking let's get into it in no specific order number 10 playboy gangster crib now, a lot of y'all may know Playboys from Big Sad. Some of y'all may have seen their logo, their hand sign, the bunny rabbit. You know what I'm saying? They also known as Rabbit Gang. This is low-key a really active gangster crib set on the west side of L.A. They known to beef with hoods like Schoolyard. They main beef is with a hood named Venice Showline. And on west side politics, they clicked up with all the Trey gangsters. Now, of course, there's some that's outliers. You know what I'm saying? I think they may not be all the way with it with Mansfield and some other sections over there, but for the most part, they pushing that Gangsta Crib card. And they have a Sudanio counterpart, Playboy Thresse. We're going to touch on them in another video. They in another part of town. Number nine, we got West Boulevard Crib. Now, West Boulevard is a deuce time hood. Now, when we talk about deuce time and trade time, that's one of the main bases for West Side hoods in Los Angeles. Now, I say west side because those politics low-key change when you get on the east side. The east side is past the 110 freeway. West Boulevard is a Crip gang set, not a gangster Crip set. Just how we touched on the PBGs, Playboy Gangsta Crip, West Boulevard is West Boulevard Crip gang. And that's a good indicator to see if a hood is pushing trays or deuces. West Boulevard is tucked in between the schoolyards and the Black P-Stones. They a large set, well known, off 28th Street. Now, if you're over there, you see people rocking that, uh, that, that Washington Nationals hat, that's West Boulevard. They get active over there. Y'all niggas watch out. Number eight, next to the West Boulevard Crips, we got Schoolyard Crip. Now, they infamous right now, that nigga Blueface. He has put them all the way on the map. Before him, it was TC4800. They had a couple little niggas over there. Everybody in the city know them as that hood that be at World on Wheels. Or that was at World on Wheels. The skating ring on the west side, everybody went to. It was two skating rings that everybody went to growing up. It was World on Wheels, and I think it was Skate Depot. I'm from the west side, only been on World on Wheels. And everybody know the schoolyards will always be up there. Now, they a hood that's known to push deuce time and trade time. You know what I'm saying? Being a West LA hood, they close to all the trade games, you know what I'm saying? But they kind of like the divider. They press right up on Crenshaw. Like I said, all these hoods are on the west side of Crenshaw, but Schoolyard is right on Crenshaw. They hood press right on it. And to me, you know, they was kind of pressed in between allies, being right next to the West Boulevards, who they beefed with before, being next to the Playboys, who they really beef with, being next to the Mansfields, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays, them niggas, they, they, they just pushing their own car. But... Again, indicative of their name. They a crib gang, not gangsta crib. They not trades. They also known to wear that that New York hat, that New York Yankee hat. They not neighborhoods though. You know what I'm saying? You come around this shit, they they not neighborhoods. So, you know, but lately they've been real cool with the Harlem 30s. And again, we're gonna get into them in another video. You know what I'm saying? They not Harlem 30s ain't midtown, so we ain't even on that right now. But schoolyard is cool with the 30s. So is West Boulevard. Number seven, ally with the schoolyard Crips is Venice Showline Crip. They the furthest west Crip set. Far, far west Venice Showline. Again, indicative of the name, Crip Gang. They not trades, they push the deuce line. They've been known to have problems with six O's. They, they main beef is with Playboy Gangsters. They linked up with the schoolyards and they're not fucking with Big Sad and the PVGs. Now, the, the thing about Showline is they hood has a lot of history in their section. You know what I'm saying? So 
when when you when you in their hood, it's like they kind of far away from their enemigos and they kind of stick to themselves over there. You know, I would say that if you're in a section, they get really fucking active. But if they not in a section, you know, you don't really see too much up. You know what I'm saying? Other than if they they may be in the schoolyards too much, but I ain't really seen too many of them niggas over in the schoolyards. But if you in they section, you are going to bump into them. So niggas, be careful. Y'all at that beach, y'all gonna bump into the motherfuckers. A black motherfucker that you may not think is on nothing is probably from Showline. You know, they hood runs deep over there. And a bounce off them. Number six, we got Benestrese. They share the hood with Venice Showline. They not a crib gang. They not a blood gang. We already said it. These are Sudanio. This is a Mexican hood, and they deep. Now, everybody know the politics between the black gangs and the Hispanic gangs in Los Angeles. Vastly different, you know what I'm saying? But these niggas still get cracking. Like I said, if you in that section, you're going to bump into them. You in Venice, you're going to see them niggas. That born and raised shit, that's V13. You know what I'm saying? And they known the beef with the number five hood on our list, the CXCs. Culver City Tresa. Now this this hood right here is real it's real different. You know what I'm saying? They got their own projects, but in terms of the far west, they the biggest hood in the far west. Culver City Tresa. They Sudanios, but this is something that y'all may not realize. These dudes wear red. Regardless of being hooked up with Tresa car, everybody know the Tresa's wear blue. Sudanios wear blue, Norteños wear red. Culver City Tresse is the only hood in Los Angeles that wears red. Again, I think it's I think it's called Mar Vista. They got Mar Vista guards or some shit like that. That's their hood. That's their section. Y'all niggas watch out over there. They real close to uh, Fox Hills Mall. They right there. So y'all motherfuckers come to the west side. It may look better than South Central. It does. It may not look so gutter, but it's still motherfucking hood's creepy. And moving on, we coming back up towards Crenshaw. We're going to touch on the Mansfield Gangster Crips. Shout out my nigga Wadu, man. Mansfield, they an old hood. If y'all remember that old rapper named Dollar that got killed in L.A. years ago, he was fucking with niggas from Mansfield. Again, Mansfield is an old hood. The niggas be getting money over there. They was at a time, you know what I'm saying? I don't know now, but everybody know that when that Roscoe's was on Pico and niggas was getting jacked, niggas was getting their car broke into that was the Mansfields again they gangster crips they push that trade movement but they not all cool with playboys they right next to them but they not all cool with the PBGs they not cool with the schoolyards you know what I'm saying they also beef with hoods like the 40s and the 60s you know what I'm saying it's a gangster crip hood they push that trade movement they old school they real active number three Tucked in between the Mansfields and the schoolyards, you got the 18 Streets, Barrio 18. Now, 18 Street, if y'all know anything about LA, y'all know the two biggest SA hoods. Well, it's a, it's a couple of them, but the most notable, other than the Florencia, as they on the whole other side of town, is going to be 18 Street and MS 13. Those two hoods beef, 18 Street got a click right there between the schoolyards, the Mansfields, you know, right by the skating rink. They the mid-city section of 18th Street. Now, they right there off Rampaw, the Rampaw Gangsta Click. Now, they literally share their hood with the schoolyards, and they also share their enemies. They don't fuck with the Black P-Stones. They don't fuck with the gear gangs. They push the gear gangs back. Them and the, uh, the, the Stones damn near made the gear gangs extinct. But we gonna talk about inactive sets in another video. But the 18s have put in a lot of work over there. You know, you in schoolyard hood, you may think you in schoolyard hood. As soon as you go up that motherfucking hill, you're going to be in the 18s. You know what I'm saying? That shit is real compressed right there. So niggas, be careful. They're also a Sudanio hood. They're not crip. They're not blood. This is a Hispanic gang. And like I said, they known to beef with another hood in Mid-City. That hood is number two, MS-13. Mara Savatrucha. Niggas know... MS-13 is an extremely large El Salvadorian Sudanio hood. They all through LA. From the west side all the way through downtown MacArthur Park. 
them niggas is everywhere. They got a stronghold on a lot of the downtown commerce out there. You know, niggas coming around, getting uh, getting little faces, getting whatever. MS-13 is more than likely that hood supplying that shit. Them dudes are not hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Now, all of them don't look super essayed out. You may be talking to somebody in downtown you think is just a cool, regular Hispanic man. That nigga be from MS-13. You know what I'm saying? They they got a wide stretch through L.A. And they, they entrenched in bloody wars with a lot of S.A. hoods out there. Now, we don't see them doing too much with black hoods. You know what I'm saying? I ran into a couple dudes from MS-13, and it was actually cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, despite their reputation, they not just anybody K. You know what I'm saying? We see 18th Street beef with, a lot, with, a, with more black hoods than a MS-13s. You know what I'm saying? But... I think it's just because MS-13 was going against the grain when it came down to that Sudanio card, you know what I'm saying? Them and 18, you know, uh, they hoods is so powerful, you know what I'm saying? They could, uh, they can gear up and say no to the card one time, and you know, they, uh, that brings a lot of scrutiny against them, but other than that, they beef with a lot of SA hoods in LA, so I ain't gotta say too much, y'all niggas know exactly who that is. And finally, at number one, is a hood that's real low-key. You know what I'm saying? This is also a today say hood. Sawtell. Now these niggas done killed one of my homies, so I know these niggas is active. Sawtell Thresse. They tucked in the west side. They in between the four or five and the ten. They not close to too much shit. But again, they one of them hoods that if you in they section, they probably gonna get up with you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. Them hoods like like uh, Sawtell and Showline, they got to drive to their enemies, so they may not seem like, you know what I'm saying, like one of them super active hoods, but like I said, them niggas will draw that shit down, and it be them hoods that's that's like tight-knit, small, but that really get cracking, that really be having them killers in they set, you know what I'm saying, they're not one of them large hoods that just recruit anybody. To really be from Sawtell, you really got to be over in that section, and they get active. And you know, another thing y'all got to understand, you know, unlike New York, Texas, Atlanta, Louisiana. We don't have boroughs. We don't have wards. It's really in LA. It's really one big ass section. And it's main streets that run through multiple hoods. Streets like Crenshaw, La Brea, Western, Normandy, Vermont. You know, them hoods start from the north and run all the way to the south of Los Angeles. You know, and so many different hoods that run down them streets. You know, them streets that run horizontal, them streets that run east to west, those are more personal, more uh, personalized sections, you know what I'm saying? So you'll have like, you know, let's take the rolling sets, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the 30s and shit, you know. On Western, on Western, you'll have streets like 36 on 39, you know what I'm saying? That's all the 30s hood. You keep going down Western, you'll be on 28, 27. That's rolling 20 bloods keep going the opposite way you go south or west you be in the 40s them is three different gangs you know what i'm saying three different situations all on one street you know what i'm saying so y'all niggas gotta watch out for that now again this list not in any set order this ain't to say the number 10 hood is least active than the number one hood you know what i'm saying all these hoods in this section can get cracking can get active if you're over there at any point in time you could run into these niggas and it could be a problem now in this section of course we named off the active hoods we gotta let you know there are inactive hoods over here too that y'all can run into and probably function in and hang the fuck out in and not run across no issues later on we're gonna release another video letting y'all know the inactive hoods in this section but keep tuned in we got more shit dropping we're gonna keep letting y'all know who the fuck is active in the city and who is not so y'all niggas, when y'all come out here and float around from LAX, y'all know where to go and where not to go. Rap News Street Politics, man. Keep in tune with us for that hood shit.